Sure. Thanks. I was going to say the same thing about yours. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I was going to be like, yeah, no young. Great. <laughs> Hi, India. How are you? I'm good. How you doing, love? Doing great. Um, So we talked for the first season because you were saying how your husband was a night court fan and showed you all of the things about night court before you started. But now you're now that like we're almost what season two is ending. We're keeping up with all of these guest stars that have come on and we're learning all these new characters. Who for you is a guest star that you really want to end up on season three of night court? Oh, uh, I mean, I would love to have Richard kind come back because he's just a freaking delight. <laughs> um, the wheelers I think should just be back all the time. Like, I think we should just have the wheelers be around as much as they were uh, in the original, um, Brent and Annie, uh, who play the wheelers are delightful. And then Kate Micucci is actually a good friend of my husband's. Um, and, uh, she also, uh, is in that episode, let's <laughs> say. Um, so those are characters that I would love to see return. Yeah. And I, it season two has been making me just so happy because it is like, I loved that Paul Shear and Rob Hubel were on it. I loved That's that. Great. We got Ryan Hansen. Like, I, there are just so many people that kept popping up that just made me very excited because I think that's what makes a show like Night Court so much fun is that you just are constantly seeing new characters come through. Was there an episode for you this season in particular that really just made you very happy that you were like in a moment with a certain character and you guys just had like something special that maybe wouldn't have happened on some other show? Honestly, the th I think my biggest takeaways are the things that happen when the camera's not rolling. Um, we have been so lucky this year to, to really get some incredible talent to come on our show. Mm -hmm. um, probably more so than any show I've ever been on. The, the, our guest list is, is uh, a lot of legendary actors have been coming to play with us. Um, like I said, Richard Kind is just a delight. Paul Shear and I work together on Veep. Mm -hmm. um, so we have food together and Rob and I took a nice stroll around the lot and shot the SHIT and uh, he's really fun. And um, I laughed a lot that week, which was really lovely. Ryan Hansen is also so great. Um, we have a really great guest cast this week. Uh, Dave Foley is hanging out with us. Mm -hmm. um, he's awesome. Um, and uh I'm excited to see who else we can bring into the world. You know, I, if any of them came back around, I'd be thrilled. Yeah. I want like our, I want the Amy Pollers and the Tina Fey's to just roll up an episode just to make me happy. Just to I mean, I'd fall off my chair. I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just get, take it out. What I do love though about this night court, which is different than the original is that like there are so many more kind of female characters playing major roles in the show and it's not just like a boys club for you guys though is that something that you guys hold on to and recognize or are you guys there just to have fun because it makes me happy to see women in these roles just having fun for once and not kind of having so much on them you know I think for the for us the main cast we're having a hoot and um it's sort of just that well, yeah, of course I can do that. Why, you know, there's no reason why I wouldn't. Of course I can. Um, it, and generally in my life, it doesn't occur to me uh, on the daily basis. I kind of forget I'm genderless <laughs> for the most part in that I'm just like anything, anything's on the table. I just either like it or I don't, or I want to, or I don't. Um, so, you know, but I would say as someone who is very outspoken for women's rights, um, there has also been a lot of care taken in our production to make sure that we are paying attention. Um, you know, there was a time that we noticed that a lot of our background cast weren't um, as diverse as they could be um, in every respect. And so then we changed it and we made sure that what ended up on camera reflected cultural uh, differences as well as um, gender, age, you know. Um, and so that caution continues. So if we show an episode where we have, there's an episode, for example, that aired a few weeks ago um, about Olivia and her doorman. Well, we made sure they were also door women. Mm -hmm. um, you know, if we have officers, they're going to be male and female. Bailiffs are going to be male and female. There's always going to be um, a representation of both. Um, and 
I'm really proud that our show cares about that, but we're also not ramming it down anybody's throat. We're just quietly handling it um, whilst telling our story um, and trying to reflect the real world as it actually is. But we're not the show to stand on a soapbox. That's not our mm -hmm. job. There are some shows that are supposed to be there to have a, a conversation about what's happening in the world uh, socially and politically. I've been on those shows and I love that. But I also love being on a show where our job is to give you somewhere to escape from what's happening outside. Um, but that doesn't mean that we can't be responsible quietly while we do that. And I'm so proud of the show for the care that's been taken in that area. Yeah. Yeah, like I was going to say, it was like, it, it just feels natural. Just It's not like, it's just like, oh, wow, there's a lot of women on the show, but it's also because it's natural and yeah. real to life. And I love it very much. Um, but thank you so much for talking with me today. I really appreciate awesome. it. And I can't wait for more and more seasons of Night Court. From your lips. <laughs> thank you. Awesome.